Students across the U.S. are demanding that their universities and colleges disclose their institutional ties to the Israeli regime, and at the same time, divest from them. This has been met with a heavy police crackdown, resulting in the arrest of thousands of students, and even the expulsion of students, or being fired from their jobs. Public colleges and private universities alike have seen the rise of a new student movement that's more militant and assertive than prior calls for justice. So we're a generation that says no to these wars, these imperialist interventions, and to colonialism, and says that we deserve an education that is dedicated to human rights and liberation for all, and that if we don't get it from our elite institutions, we'll build it ourselves. Hassan D., you Chicago student. In the United States, ties to Israel exist at the systemic level. Everything from student exchange programs to institutions being used for technology that will eventually be used by the Israeli regime, including artificial intelligence technology used for surveillance. We see that the University of Chicago has investments in General Dynamics and Raytheon and Boeing, and they all fund the bombs that are being dropped on Gazan families. And so we have a responsibility to be here, to camp here, and to tell the universities that they must divest. Andrew Basta, UChicago student. Brutal tactics are being used by the police, who in the United States also receive training from the Israeli regime, specifically on repression, to stifle the student movement. Despite the brutal crackdown, students remain adamant and are pursuing their goals towards disclosure and divestment. The student movement is growing, now, over 80 college campuses have joined the call to disclose and divest from Israel. This means that over 25 states are currently witnessing mass demonstrations calling for a free Palestine. The state in turn has responded with heavy crackdowns resulting in the arrest of over 1,000 students alone. What remains to be seen is how this massive movement, currently encompassing the entirety of the United States, will move forward 